Excuse me. Welcome to the shiny, shiny pillow couch, guys. What happened to the singing that you used to do? I switch it up. You know this. But you I'm haven't done it. done it. I did it the last episode. I don't remember that. Welcome to. See, it's too late now. Do it. it's, it's not, not good, natural. right? It's not even. Yeah, yeah. You're trying My to force it. My nose is running. See, because it's not. I'm not trying to do that today. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, everybody? How we doing today? How are you? It's your boy, Ronald Harmon. Merce Harrell. Kicking Look it with us that. on the couch. You know, have a seat. We are coming at you to talk about the best looks of the 2019 Met freaking gala. I will say that this has probably been one of the best. Boy. That I have ever seen. Boy. They killed it. They really did. Every I know we a little late, but still. Man, they killed it. It Murdered. was really hard. It was really Murdered hard to pick, it. to be like, man, this was my favorite. Yes. Because there were so many that did a very good job. Now, they did. just as many people did a great job. Just as many were whack. I it's mean, like, wait a minute. Hold up. No, no. Terrible. But today we're coming at you with the best looks, the best three for the women, the best three for the men, and then really, we'll come it's not at best you. three. It's just the ones that well that we like. Yeah, our exactly. Faves. Our, well, our our, not just that. It was just like we there were more than what we had. Like we want to show you more, but these were just the three that yeah that you you must see. Yeah, because they were really give nice. Accolades, you know. So tell them what the Met Gala really is, though. Do they? <sighs> so some people may not know. Here's the thing. Um, the Met, the museum in New York. What's the actual name of the museum? It's just Metropolitan. the Met Metropolitan yeah. Museum. Okay. So they have a, a fashion exhibit that changes yearly. And so to spark that new fashion exhibit, they have this humongous big party where they invite all these celebrities. And it's also for charity and other stuff, too. Yeah. It's, they, like, mix it all in as one. Exactly. You know, a good cause. Every year good there's party. a thing. Performances inside, which, mm -hmm. you know, if you're on IG or whatnot, you can catch some of those undisclosed videos that people aren't supposed to be doing. Yeah, you're really not supposed to take pictures in there. Um, they will kick you out. You know, and so Every year it's there's just a, a theme. big fashion party. Yeah, it's a mm -hmm. it's a big theme. Last year it was um, a religious theme. I can't remember the exact name, but everyone wore kind of Catholicism. Can I be honest? Type. It was real whack, but keep going. <laughs> Last year was horrible. They, people like didn't. It, it like seemed kind of like blasphemy. Uh, you no, know? no, 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 it was that like, wasn't it. Ugh. It was just like it was. There was Some no art to uh, it uh, like this time. Uh, like this time, everybody was so excited. It, like you could Rihanna. tell that they were so excited for the for the theme that they went all out. Well, here's the deal. They were excited about That's the theme because you really got to do your own thing. So the theme was camp, right? Not going out camping with the tent mm -hmm. camp just means pretty much over the top style and over the top fashion because it kind of came it's kind of stemmed from the 80s when um, right. drag was becoming a really big thing exactly so camp is really that word that they use to describe mm -hmm. that um, culture that type of culture right. that style exactly so that's why Gucci had a field day <sighs> because we know they be over the top Gutierrez you know? had a field and, day and they have to get back in good graces. Oh, everybody was in it though. They dressed everybody. But you going. They did. So you know, <coughs> camp. <laughs> I know I would have loved to be over the top. Shoot. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> you know. Anyway, let's get to one of my favorite looks. Or the first look of. Why you keep correcting me? I just said one of my favorite looks. Because I don't want them to feel looks. like I don't want them to feel like this is this is like it. Like this was. This was your favorite, like, I in said order. what? In order. I'm just saying. Good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Gaga. Okay, now here's the deal. When Lady Gaga first came out, I was already super excited. You were, you were, you were, I, this was in your uh, IG story Man, off top. Like, you went crazy. I, I lost my mind. <laughs> it was like 10 of them. Yeah. It I was, just, Because in a row. I'm like, wait, she, wait, she's still not done. Okay, so here's the deal. Lady Gaga comes out, you see the first look, guys. She has on this huge bouffant pink dress, right? And it's an experience. She's making this really like a stage performance. She you has all these men, you know, carrying her umbrellas. So extra. I'm just like, really? Okay. So then I noticed 
that it looked like she could open the dress, right? So I said, I was I was sitting with my sister. I said, yo, Denise, she's about to take it off. <laughs> she's about to take it off. So this actually reminds me, do you remember in elementary school where uh, we used to play the game? Yeah, I got you with the parachute thing. The parachute yeah, uh-huh. Thing. Yeah, they were parachuting her dress. Absolutely. So after they did all that, boom, she takes off the first layer. And she goes to the black dress. Put up the picture again. Woo! That was, it was so elegant and so nice. Regal. She killed this. By the way, if 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 it's not your favorite, this one was one of my. Regal. Top. I just got chills. It was really nice. Just regal. So she goes from pink to black, right? Then she goes back again. Back to the pink. To slim, very very fitted. It was really yes. beautiful. Very fitted, very you know svelte pink dress right okay. like elizabeth taylor glam judith lieber uh designed that old school cell phone handbag and and so let me go back to her stylist brandon maxwell did all of these looks um supposedly it took about a month i would have thought it would take much longer than that but no wow. not, not when you now yeah once you find out what you're doing you, you know, just work on it day yeah. and night uh -huh. and thing out. I, i'm like wow only a month Seems exactly. like three, four months <laughs> a month for each look. But yeah, so, uh, you know, then she takes off the spelt pink gown and we see her in the, let's put it up. Her skivvies. <laughs> I love it. Yes. That That is pure Gaga by oh the my end. Oh, gosh. At the beginning, she was trying lashes. to be good. Yes. Yeah. Oh. At the Just beginning, everything. she was trying to be good, and then when you get to the end, it's pure guy. -guy. There you know, you know. <laughs> That's all the it monsters. is. Monsters, let the monsters out. You but know, she, she the did it. and the platforms, everything. You know, and that really is camp. I say from head to toe. Yeah. Because you could definitely job. see drag queen culture being. Uh, yeah, it was good. Saluted there. All right, Gaga. I went Gaga for you. So. My next favorite look. Do you remember who it was? Oh, crap. <laughs> Yo. I can't be with you on this. Cardi. One. She's, I just. And I was surprised <sighs> at who designed this dress. Once I figured out Tom who Brown, it was, yes. I was like, really? Cardi. I expected came better. Up. Because there's another one that he did for um, an Asian actress, and that was fire. You know, I think this is fire too, but tell me tell me what you think about this. So for the drag queen situation, is that supposed oh, to be it's reminiscent perfect. of a penis? Uh, no, wait, what? What just happened there? See there? What are you talking about? You see that right in the middle. Girl, no. What, are you okay? I mean, it looks like it because you have the breast and the nipples, right? And then, of course. I mean, I, it, I, I'm going to go with no. Oh, hopefully. well, I thought it had an underlying meaning. Hopefully. Well, We okay. need to ask Tom Brown We that. might need Can to. Can you answer this question? <laughs> we might need to. But anyway, uh, she looks like a very, just like a, a precious, cuddly little bird right here saying, oh, just, <sighs> Yeah, I love it, Cardi. The color is great on her skin tone, and it's just over the top. It, it is, doesn't, is. It doesn't make sense. It it's is. over the top, and it you is don't definitely need to make over the top. Sense. It don't. No, it doesn't. You don't. It's Met Gala, so there we are. But this next one I love too. This next one I absolutely love. This one. Oh, my girl, man, she killed it. And so we know Janelle Monet has been doing a play on black and white ever since she came out, right? But is, now, as of late, amazing. she's been incorporating more color and doing, you know, more feminine silhouettes as well. So she's super duper creative. Uh, Christian Siriano designed this for her. And what I really loved was the winking eyelash. Um, and it has a technology that has to do with movement of people around you. So it wasn't necessarily battery operated to continuously wink. It had like a movement technology, which I, I thought was super duper bomb. This is very, very nice. Yes. Very, very nice. 
And I was trying to look up the painting that uh, this dress was inspired by. I couldn't find it. So, uh, Is it a Picasso or what? viewers, it may be. If you know, please comment. But just breathtaking. These are some really good ones. There were a couple more that I think were really, really good. And I, we might have to double up on this and continue it because it was a bunch that I really think should have gotten that need to get seen. They do, and, and then they weren't on the carpet, right? But I don't think they were on the carpet. But well, I just don't think people saw them. Well, I mean, the, the carpet that was televised, I'll say. They were though, but that's the point is they were. But you, but you know how some people just get so much screenplay that you can't put everybody. There were like three hundred. And some odd everybody crazy. wasn't well from what I saw, you know, on E, everybody mm -hmm. was not televised that needed to be. I and didn't true, even say true. I didn't even see Lala's uh gown mm -hmm. except for on Instagram. True. So, you know. All right, let's go to the men's. My turn. It's gonna be quick because there were some really dope things. Yeah. We're gonna hit them. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, boom. Move on. We out, right? Anyway, go ahead, Ronald. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first one is Lena Way and Yo. Kirby Jean Raymond. I thought these were fantastic because I, I didn't get, I couldn't find a picture of the back that looked good. Okay. But there was actually writing on the back yes. of, the, of the blazers. And it was, this is, it, this is everything 80s in a suit. <laughs> like the big shoulder pads. It, it was tailored well. The boots are out of this world. Yes. I want those red ones so bad. Yes. Excuse me. <coughs> Got a coughing situation, guys. Sorry. But I believe that these were some of the best suits on the red carpet. Very, very well done. Um, the color itself, if you can see the buttons, take a look at the buttons. Yo, Everything about this was perfect. Just the detailing. Like right. Ronald is saying, the buttons were popular or meaningful hip hop artists. We they had Nipsey Hussle had a button, Tupac, Nas, Jay-Z. Like, everything was dope. Oh man. my gosh. The, and tell them about the pinstripes. I didn't see the pinstripes. Oh, okay. So the pinstripes are actually lyrics to popular drag queen songs from the 80s. She was saying that this whole thing was inspired by the drag queens from the 80s. So right. like she is, she made sure that every bit of the outfit it, it it was just detailed. They yeah, they did everything for it. They're wearing David Yearman jewelry. Um, so all of that is David Yearman gold pieces. Hopefully they put them out so that you can wear them because those those big uh, Cuban links that she has on mm -hmm. and the rings that he has on, they were really some good pieces. So if you can see those, those are really great. And so, um, man, Pierre Moss is just a really, really cool. Yeah, that's Pierre Moss, by the way. Guys. All of those are it's, custom, too, yes. so you won't find those on ready to wear. That's why you should always go custom because people can't find there it. You go. Well, okay, so like you were saying, on the back of Lena's uh, blazer, it said Black Drag Queens in Bennett Camp. Right. And on the back of Kirby's, it said Fix Your Credit, Pull Your Money, and Buy Back the Block, which was Nipsey. in our community. It's a credit to Nipsey. Booyah. Um, Next, we're going to go with this Gucci, and it's really Gucci. <laughs> it's, uh, no, it's not. It's Jeremy Scott. Um, but this is um, the singer. I don't know. Maluma? <laughs> she was hey, like, I don't hip, know. You hip and it is. Mal Maluma. Uh -huh. um, he actually has this really cool song. I think it's called HP. Everybody's in love with right now. Okay. He got to perform with Madonna. Um, but this is actually Moschino by Jeremy Scott. Nice. Jeremy Scott is the modern day camp. If you yeah, don't know Jeremy is. Scott, he did a, 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 a collaboration with Adidas, mm -hmm. with all of these other brands, and it was really, 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 really good. Um, so I think these guys at Moschino and Jeremy Scott putting together, making some great things. If you look at some of the stuff that he did on, the, on this red carpet, it was fantastic and very well done. I'm surprised he actually didn't do Cardi because he's been working with her a whole lot. Well, sometimes you want to do different people, move on, different people. <laughs> but if you look at the detailing on this, it's, I mean, I... Is it I, pearl? Are they... Yeah, it's like pearl, it's like Tassel, pearls, metal, yeah, little tassels. tassels with pearls on the I end. I love... I mean, it is the perfect, like... And it's, it's so masculine, right. and yet rocker not that blouse stuff that they had on right i love that that looks so good like it just looked 
perfect. Mm -hmm. it, it's the a, color is It's dope. a great top coat, great pant, cummerbund set. Like exactly. It's just perfect. It all worked together. Yes. <coughs> all right. Last but not least, I'm going to butcher this name just so you guys know that because this is, but you know what he's wearing though, right? Yes, I do. What boom, is he? Boom, boom. What is he wearing? Tom Fuller. Boom, Always. Boom. <laughs> I'm never going to give you anything without Naoki. this. Say Naoki. Say Naoki. Naoki. Yeah, yeah, Kobayashi. Naoki. Kobayashi. He is an actual, uh, he's a dancer and, and um, actor from Asia. Mm -hmm. Um, Very, very, man, this jacket we have, and oh, man, I can't tell you how beautiful that jacket is up close. It's very nice. Like, oh, you up have close. to okay. see it. It doesn't, it does it justice in the picture, yes, but when you get to see it, see it, it changes your whole perspective on what a dinner jacket can be. Okay. Like the fabric is beautiful. It has this iridescent quality to it. I to was where wondering if it was it iridescent. It doesn't, it, it looks, it, it, it changes as you look at it. Okay. So is it zebra inspired? Yes, this okay. one is zebra. There's also a snakeskin one. Oh. Um, uh, to the last um, fashion show, um, the other Asian that was in Crazy Witch Asians, what was the guy's name? I don't know. My anyway, dear. he wore the gold one, <laughs> okay. and it's just like he. There are so many different ones that it's just this makes my heart sing mm. because it's so nice. It's so well put together because it's of course you Tom know, Ford loves the tailoring, but it's man, you know I love my tailoring. Yeah, You're right, yeah. like anything that's. <laughs> tailored to this to the T which is everything about Tom Ford and he even created a dress that you that you got it oh, guys we got to continue this cuz it was some really good stuff on this carpet and this was one of the ones that really caught my eye cuz somebody else had a jacket like this one on too mm -hmm. so everybody w it had to go across the board everybody must have been like that was a jacket beautiful cuz so many people had it on the cut is just wonderful it's perfect like. it's yes. literally perfect yes. it fits him perfectly it does. in every single way like Gorgeous. mary poppins practi practically perfect in every single way mm -hmm. sweet so those are my three i hope you guys like them tell us what you think okay. right yes please comment Comments. tell us you know like we said those weren't the only six that no. we love no however not even close we want to know if you liked them if you didn't and well, tell if us your you favorite feel like too? some others yeah, yeah should get some shine so yeah i'm telling you talk to us get you get you some shine yeah you i like that pun intended <laughs> it's okay now you're trying to be nice i'm not it was really good <laughs> <laughs> so, like, subscribe. Yes, comment. And uh, thanks for joining us today. We will see you next week. Shiny pillow couch. Deuces. <laughs>